ಶುದ್ಧ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಅಖಂಡಾನಂದಮಾನಮನಂತ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇವತ ನೇತ್ಯ ಶುದ್ಧ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಅಖಂಡಾನಂದಮಾನಮನಂತ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇವತ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ah just leave it as it is please so uh, i am verily that supreme brahman alone which is eternal pure ever liberated ekam one unbroken bliss non dual and the nature of truth knowledge and infinity <sighs> in fact you almost get tired of this i am already tired yeah thank you i don't know whether you are tired or not third verse i am already tired please don't speak lies huh? speak the truth ushama are you already tired or not namaste guru ji i i am more inquisitive like what more meanings you can give to this so no is, time is it, is, it, is it the first time you are hearing all this uh, i would have heard but not in uh, such descriptive terms again and again another few more verses it comes and you'll be tired certainly tired <laughs> <laughs> no i can understand so why i am saying that or why am i mentioning that is because it it is beyond our capacity to understand it is it is just intellectual beyond a point you are not able to draw any inspiration out of it but this is the fact of it this is not the nature of atman this is your nature this is my innate nature so it is rather difficult to relate to that that inner nature of mine is this i am that supreme brahman alone yes hari ji the guru is trying desperately with absolute compassion to describe the indescribable he is using all terms correct the absolute the compassion he is he is using all sorts of expression to see that uh, his student get at least some idea seeing it, it is absolutely indescribable but still he is trying to describe absolutely very true correct it is it is share love yeah and identification compassion to uplift us that's that's the attempt a guru makes to communicate something which cannot be captured in in words and ideas but still we'll try and understand what he's saying i am that supreme brahman aham param brahmaham eva tat i am that supreme brahman alone which is eternal eternal pasa visa which is ephemeral eternal is something which never dies immaculate pure shuddha shuddha means it's pure it's immaculate it's perfect liberated vimukta a dreamer is ever liberated from the dream a waker sorry a waker is ever liberated from the dream the moment waker wakes up 
he's not bound by the dream anymore so a man of realization is ever liberated from the three states waking dream deep sleep ekam one there's only one self the conditioned selves are many but the pure consciousness is only one the atman in all of us is one but the conditionings are many just like the sun is one it reflections are many sun is only one so he says the atman is only one it has no divisions and then he says akhandanandam anandam is bliss akhandanandam is unbroken bliss our bliss is in bits and pieces broken we experience bliss but then it's intercepted with sorrow many interruptions with sorrow but here is unbroken it is continuous bliss you may say sir so boring no even annapurna i know the question in my mind isn't it very boring to have a life of unbroken bliss correct ah enamma correct question thane i almost i know that's what is going in your mind <laughs> life is uh, like that i mean only when we fa- face challenges we evolve so <laughs> it may not be boring i mean uh, so we understand life only with the opposite isn't it we know what is joy only with this or but from an absolute standpoint he says it's unbroken and then he says non dual i'm telling i'm seriously very tired of this oshama from but tired no non dual non dual means what it is not two why they are saying not two is because if you say god is one you almost pinpointing god you are defining god since you can't pinpoint it you can't define it he says therefore it's not two advayam it's non dual satyam what is satyam satyam is that which exists at all periods of time the past present future it exists in the waking dream deep sleep if the waking world is satyam is real it should exist in the dream and deep sleep as well it doesn't i could be having a terminal disease in the waking state i could have come out through a surgery in the waking state but i am dreaming myself to be hale and healthy it's not real as people say this example i could be a bachelor in the in the waking state dreaming myself to be a married man in the dream and i could be a married man in the dream in the, in the waking state and dreaming myself to be a bachelor in the dream in very way so it happens how blissful is my life and by the time i wake up i realize the reality adeng appa yo yo that is unreal huh? so but anything real persists it exists and then he says satyam gyanam anantam very it's a beautiful coinage you know satyam gyanam anantam yet which is again this is describing one's own nature the truth the atman i is is there in all experiences it is knowledge now when he says knowledge it is not knowledge of something it is knowledge in the sense it is that which makes you conscious of rajima samajh mein aa raha knowledge is not what you are having knowledge of when he says gyanam it is that which makes you conscious of it 
it's not in the terms of knowledge and ignorance when he says knowledge it is knowledge in the sense that which makes you conscious of your knowing that which makes you conscious of your not knowing also you know certain things you do not know certain things there's a standard example is taken i'll take the example to convey the what is saying why then adan ji i want to ask you some simple questions do you know my name yes, sir guru ji yes sir are you sure I you do. know my name yeah reasonably sure how do how do you think you are reasonably sure that you know my name how do i from the time i was introduced to you by setaram and ji and and that uh letter written uh, communications that you have received we have given a, an identity to your personality a name to your personality okay so you know for sure that you know my name huh? as setraman ji told me forget <laughs> setraman ji here i'm asking you you seem as to just... say for sure you know my name correct i know by how you go by yes all right now i ask you do you know my grandfather's name no how do you say that you don't know my grandfather's name because that knowledge was never given to me so you know that you don't know my grandfather's name yes and how do you know that you don't know my grandfather's name Uh, how do i know that i don't know your grandfather's name because i don't know you would say i know so i hope you are still there with us i know that i don't know that i don't know your grandfather's name but how are you really really sure sir i know that i don't know that i do not know that i do not know your grandfather's name but do you know my name yes sir i know how sure i am very sure i know your name are you really certain yes sir i am very certain i know that i know that i know your name yeah now i don't know whether you're there or i don't know you're not there i am i am i was lost for a minute i had to re join the group no problem i'm here so, i don't know if you know that i'm here <laughs> now i know don't ask me how do i know i'm here, that you're here <laughs> <laughs> so if you just ask such fundamental questions on one side you seem to be knowing all your areas of knowing on other side you are seem to be aware of all your areas of ignorance as well that which enlivens your knowing and that which enlivens your ignorance is that knowledge correct so when he says gnanam gnanam is not information gnanam is that awareness which helps you enlivens everything so satyam gnanam and then he says anantam anantam means it is infinite endless endless mm -hmm. now what is endless in fact lord krishna also is tired of it he is always saying ujama he is tired he said dena pa nariya irka pa list infinite infinite description why are you don't 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 bother me infinite descriptions of mine unending so just be satisfied with this all that nariya irke i can't give there is no end to it therefore he says anantam hmm? so these three verses 
I just said, Vajrayana Ji, these three verses talking from an absolute point. Many scriptures do speak from this standpoint, but it's important for us to differentiate absolute vis-a-vis -vis relative. Okay. Uh...